Hey guys, what's up? This is Ibn Khan and I have started some tech videos uh, from now on I will be delivering tech news every week. So be sure to subscribe and also press that bell icon so that you never miss any video. So Apple is the only company started from computer and then dominated mobile industry also they are one step ahead in smartwatches and airports and so many other electronics now they are pushing their lugs in electric car business and it's a hope they will repeat the history as Apple appoint top software executive as new lead of Apple car project. Besides being Apple's Vice President of Technology, Kevin Lynch is also known for overseeing WatchOS and all of the company's health-related software. Judging from a recent report by Bloomberg, however, it seemed Lynch will also be taking full leadership of the Apple's car project. Well, he has never worked on anything related to car, but he is somewhat of a genius when it comes to software. So if I were to make any assumption, Apple is betting on a flawless software to be the differentiating factor for its autonomous car to stand out from other in the industry. That's being said, we most certainly will not be seeing Apple's take on electric self-driving car this year or in next couple of years for that matter. The fact is that there has been a lot of turbulence in the management of this project and the company seemingly still has a lot to figure out before it is ready to make its official. Foldable phones are the future of phones. That's why every company is trying to make the more stable version with lowest price. TCL is cancelling its foldable Z Flip 3 rival because it couldn't make it cheap enough. TCL has been working on foldable and rollable smartphone for quite some time. But before it even been released, the company is cancelling its first product. TCL's clamshell phone is no more and the Galaxy Z Flip 3 competitor is not going to be released. The main reason for the device cancelling is that TCL wasn't able to keep the price as low as first intended. On the top of that, it was also expected that the new foldable Samsung device to cost more. TCL's Project Chicago foldable was set to feature a 6.67-inch AMOLED display with an FHD plus resolution and an outer 1.1-inch screen. It was powered by Snapdragon 765G processor coupled with 6GB of RAM and 128GB of storage. A 48-megapixel dual camera system was also included. Huawei or Huawei was once to dominate the smartphone share across the world, but American ban and no Google support took the crown, but they did not admit their loss so easily and they are moving forward with schedule event for 2021 October. Huawei has been out of the spotlight for most of 2021, but the former smartphone giant is still very much alive, so much so that it has scheduled an unexpected announcement even for late October. It's unclear which Huawei smartphone will be announced at the event. Huawei's next event could also relate to the Huawei Mate 50 line. New Mate series products are typically announced in the autumn, so that would make a lot of sense. However, the latest rumor indicates that Huawei has cancelled the device. There have been rumors of new Huawei Nova smartphone recently that the product is meant to be announced later this month in September. So perhaps a European launch will follow soon after. Regardless of which smartphone Huawei announces, availability is likely to be very limited. The Chinese company has struggled to obtain the necessary components to keep its smartphone business running since the last US trade restriction. That shouldn't make too much of a difference though. After all, demand is unlikely to be very high. PUBG Mobile has dominated the FPS online gaming for a while, followed by Call of Duty. Now it's time for Battlefield to step foot in mobile gaming, as Battlefield Mobile Beta coming to Android device this fall. E announced recently that it has begun testing Battlefield Mobile in Indonesia and Philippines, but it will soon roll out these playtests to new regions. EA revealed that when they are ready to go broader, 
they will launch page that allows gamer to pre-register for the game and sign up for new about future play test this will only be available on android devices on the brighter side battlefield mobile will be free to play and only includes cosmetic item in case you want to support developers it's important to mention that Battlefield Mobile is being developed solely for mobile devices, so it will not feature cross-play with any console or PC version of Battlefield. OnePlus is one of the fast-growing Chinese smartphone company that makes high-end flagship phones every year, and every year they release a special phone called Node. But unlikely this time, it's another Note 2 5G explodes injures MN. The Galaxy Note 7 curse lives on. This time, the target is OnePlus Note 2 5G. Yet another device has spontaneously caught fire and exploded inside one man's pocket, injuring him in the process. The news was first picked by Let's Go Digital. The Dutch site stumbled upon a Twitter post by the injured man in question. As you can see from the images, the Note 2 is completely toasted and the man himself suffered burn injuries to the body. The phone was brand new bought on August 24, 2021. He said, I feel like I have had my death certificate in my pocket. I am very happy that I am still alive. This isn't an isolated case either. Last month, Let's Go Digital reported on another Note 2 explosion, this time during a bike ride. There is no official statement regarding the latest explosion, but it seems that OnePlus thinks that these are isolated accidents. We will continue to monitor the situation and it's a shame really because I was genuinely impressed with Note 2 during my time off with the test unit. That's all folks, be sure to like, subscribe and share. Till next time, take care.